Hey challengers, welcome to day three of your six day eat clean challenge. Today I want to talk to you a little bit about nutrition labels. Um, this is one of my favorite subjects and um, also about eating um, according to your nutrition targets, your personalized nutrition targets. Now I mentioned on last night's call about the page three and four in the challenge booklet finding your protein target what I want you to do is you take that protein target divide it by five or six whatever your targeted meal plan a day is for your calorie needs and come up with a protein target per consumption and this is what we go by when we're looking at um, when we go to the grocery store if we buy our food right right from the grocery store it's a lot easier to make sure that we're getting you know what the body needs so I'm gonna try to do something here I don't know if I could turn this around, but anyway, I'm going to show you something then in front of me. I'm outside because I'm at the nutrition club, but um, I mentioned about pulling cereal out of the cabinet. I'm going to show you this cereal right here, and I know it's a little bit blurry, but just trust me on the numbers. Now, we like to read our nutrition labels from the bottom up, making sure that we hit our protein targets per consumption. This cereal here is technically one serving okay and if our protein target was 100 grams of protein a day and our meal plan was five um, consumptions a day that would average about 20 grams of protein per meal this right here has four grams of protein per serving so what we want to do is take that four and figure out how many of these bowls of cereal do we have to eat to hit our protein target our nutrition target for that consumption this would take us five Five servings so each serving is 190 calories and for the um, simplicity we would take the 190 round it up to 200 times five that would cost us about a thousand calories um, in order for us that's a hawk that just flew past me that would cost us about a thousand calories in order to hit our nutrition target is that a healthy choice probably not here's something else I want to show you don't be fooled by labels okay this says it's 100 calories per serving. Again, if you're looking for 20 grams of protein or even 10 grams of protein for a snack because um, we eat more for our meal, less for our snacks. This one here, when we read from the bottom up, trust me when I tell you what it says, it says it has three grams of protein per serving, six grams of sugar. Let's go backwards to the cereal again. This has four grams of protein and 17 grams of sugar. So 17 times five, you know how much sugar you have to eat in order to hit your nutrition target? No, this one has three grams of protein and six grams of sugar per serving. So it's 100 calories. You have to say 100 calories of what? Okay. Protein is four calories per gram and carbohydrates. There's 13 grams of carbohydrates of which six grams are sugar. Um, carbohydrates are four calories per gram and fat is six grams. Fat is nine calories per gram. So where do the hundred calories come from and are they coming from the most important nutrient, which is protein? answer is no. Uh, so if you were going to eat this also as a snack, even though it's 100 calories and your protein target for a snack was half of your 20 or 10 grams of protein, you would have to eat three of these, which means you'd have to eat 300 calories in order to hit your protein target. I hope I'm starting to make sense. Another thing to look at, school is starting. A lot of people are going to eat these for breakfast. Hey, I used to do it to my kids too. They say it's fruit. You know, we don't know any better. One thing that, that I didn't realize was that the serving size is one pastry, but there's two pastries in each bag. So um, even if we only ate one pastry, the protein is two grams per serving. Again, in order to hit our nutrition target, because we're going to eat it for breakfast, which is a meal, we would have to eat 10 of these. Okay. Each one is 200 calories. That would be 2000 calories that we'd have to eat in order to hit our nutrition target. Sugars are 16 grams. 10 of these would be 160 grams. So again, when it's 200 calories, we have to say 200 calories of what? Another thing I want to show you here real quick is um, this cereal, even though it says, you know, that it helps to lower cholesterol. The reason why it can say that it's healthy is because it has what's recommended by the government, three grams of fiber per serving. The government says that if it meets at least three grams of fiber, then it can be labeled as heart healthy, but they don't have to tell you the rest of what's in there. So um, look at your labels reading from the bottom up and uh, make sure that your protein 
is higher than your sugar and um, you know always you always make sure your protein is higher than your sugar figure out how many of those servings do you have to have in order to hit your nutrition target during that meal and tomorrow I want you to uh, pull out a label of something in your pantry that you used to eat that you will no longer eat because you realize the numbers are backwards and share that with us here in this chat so your challenge for tomorrow is to share a label in the chat if you don't have any bad food no problem next time you go to the grocery store or go tomorrow pick something out and show us what you're learning and i'll talk to you soon more info below